Yeah, yeah. How everybody doing? Uh, yeah, yeah. We last week we had we had a little difficulty going on last week, so we didn't air last week because we had a little uh, technical difficulties. But uh, father and daughter is back up and on the, on the move again, and uh, got my daughter on the phone again, where we can talk uh, more about uh, the 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 apologies, how important apologies is. What do you say, baby? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Apologies slash anger, huh? Yeah, I guess so. You know, because when people turn around and hold on to something, it don't do them no good. You know, it don't do nothing but bring bad energy and then it's, uh, it's really tearing their body down for real. While the other person going about their business. Absolutely, and you block your blessings in the meantime. You you know you don't only just block your blessings; you also stunt your growth. Oh yeah. So just, I want y'all to remember that that you're not apologizing for 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 the sake of that person. You're really apologizing for you. Yeah, because if you don't, like I say, it's gonna cause all kind of health problems. You got rocks in your jaws every time you go around this person. You know what I mean? Knowing how you feel on the inside when you can just let it go and keep moving. Let it go. And I, that's the key thing, letting it go. If you can't let it go, you don't have a problem. That's where the anger begins to build up for most people. And then a lot of people's got to a bad habit of leaning to their own understanding and, and, and especially in these black communities a lot of the killings and stuff that goes on is always because somebody had a misunderstanding or they lean to their own understanding Bible said lean not to your own understanding but acknowledgement all your ways and I shall direct your path he didn't say I might he said, I shall. I don't know what part did they not get, but I got it. Especially after well, that, that goes back to the lack of communication. Because even though everybody has apologized and we also, people also going into leaning into their own understanding, when there's a lack of communication, that also helped the, the growth of anger. And a lot of our people are so angry. I mean, so angry. You can see it. You can feel it. And it's really not a great thing. If you can't sit down and have so much as a simple conversation, because that's what it takes, a simple conversation in order to have, in order to come with a solution to the misunderstanding. Well, then you got the one or two, uh, you know, like just like when I go out and I see a lot of people's uh, angry and like they got, you know, like they got an attitude, you know. Well, I'm not the one that gave you COVID. I'm not the one that even put the COVID out here. Right. And everybody walking around like they angry and mad because of the COVID and you know what I mean? I ain't got nothing. I ain't did nothing to you. <laughs> Shucks, you know, I mean, they got these frowns on their face, like it's gonna, you know, it ain't gonna fix nothing. It, it ain't gonna fix nothing. It just ain't gonna fix nothing. It's nice, but COVID also had a lot to to uh, do with bringing the mental health forefront too. Yeah, COVID yeah. caused a lot of mental health issues. And Being that, locked in the house for thirty plus days. Hmm was detrimental to some people. Some mm -hmm. people couldn't handle being locked in four walls because nobody has really ever been forced to face who they are in reality. Even face their kids while at home. Some couldn't even stay at home because of the kids at home. Right. They're so used to being out, going out all the time. They used to uh, uh, doing what they want to do, and and here it is. Now I'm stuck in the house with these kids. Oh boy, you know. <laughs>
Wow. Yeah, which caused a lot more hotlines, caused a lot more abused children. Uh, it was it was a lot going on in COVID. Mm-hmm. It was a lot, and I'm I'm still seeing that it's still a lot going on. And I really pray for everybody, just not my people, but for everybody because COVID had they own it had its impact on everybody in their own self way. Mm-hmm. Yes, it did. Yeah, you know, like a person like me that been in prison for 19 years, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody going to the store buying, buying all this stuff up, you know, i go get me some ramen noodle soups in a minute because when it all boiled down, i crunch them up and put some sauce on them that came with it and I'd be good. <laughs> I had to eat it like that when I was in prison. So, you know, yeah. you get to talk about survival, survival to me. You know, I know how to survive. You was able to cope with it. Yeah. 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 I didn't get used to it, but I had to cope with it. Yeah. You got some people get used to it. Yeah, we had a lot of people to take their life over it as well. Yeah, you know, so, uh, you know, people running out, just buying all this stuff up. You know what I'm saying? And water, you know, the water really don't taste too good. To me, ain't no telling what's no, going on with the water, you know. You got to keep a healthy mindset, though. Yeah. You got to find a way to keep keep a healthy mindset, whether that's either waking up, saying affirmations every day, telling yourself you love yourself, telling yourself you're beautiful, telling yourself you're successful. All those things matter. You need that to bring yourself back to reality sometimes because sometimes we get a little lost. And the things that we looking at, because just because you're having a hard time right now don't necessarily mean it's going to always be like this. This is just temporary, and this will always pass. Where the word but communication you're just, is everything. Where the word say you're just going through. Yeah. You're just going through. You're not, you're not there to stay. You're just going through. And that's what I like about that word, because it dropped nuggets into your mind when you're into these conversations with people's out even out there on the street you know it, it dropped nuggets and you got to allow the the holy spirit to speak to you and you got to hear it when it speak and that's the thing about uh when it said acknowledge me in all your ways you got to acknowledge him in all your ways absolutely you know, because uh, like I say, we need directions. Yes. You know, we need directions, you know, and we, we need the direction through the Holy Spirit. Because uh, down here on this earth, they're kicking it a little too hard. <laughs> Way too hard. <laughs> yeah. They even got out of the Spirit. They even got away from the Spirit. Everything else is, I want it right now. You know, this microwave yeah microwave right. you know everything got to be quick yeah i was told that you know i was told that the videos are too long and everything got to be quick but i do i don't do this for we don't do this to make everything quick we do this because we want y'all to understand and and also have solutions to y'all problems. Everything that we talk to y'all about is everything that we done either been through or everything that we probably going through in private. Oh yeah, you don't know what people's going through. You know, you don't know what people's going through. You got to be able to uh, discern and and read the moves and the way they moving and stuff like that to understand uh, what move they're in, you know. Because if you don't know what move they're in, they something to snap on you if they're in a snappy mood. You know, right. then you got those people that like to hide it. You know, oh, how you doing? Oh, everything is all right, you know. And all deep down inside, <laughs> you got a battle going on. <laughs> you acting like Miss Parker. When she say, I was like, she's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> And knowing, and knowing some of them people have a battle going on on the inside and be trying to hide it. And think they can hide it. You can't hide it. If somebody real sensitive in the spirit, you cannot hide it. Because you're going to pick it up. That's true. 
you 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 know, and, and you're gonna try to get away from that person, you know, or or you're gonna try to lift them up, you know, and then sometimes you got some of them, some of them young people be out there tomorrow. Oh, I ain't on I ain't on that. Really? Pan sag, big old joints in they in their mouth, weeds and stuff in their mouth hanging out to my got the pan sagging and say you ain't on that. <laughs> Bible said, train up, a, train up a child in the way they can go. And they see a child, see a man, grown person sagging, they think that's cool. Lack of communication. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's all got to do with communication. Everything comes back to communication. So and do. communication is just not important in your family relationships. It's important in your business relationships. Yep. It's important in any relationship that you choose to have out here. Communication is everything. Sometimes it could be difficult to even sit down and have a challenging conversation. But if it's a conversation that needs to be had, then it should be had. You shouldn't be running around holding their feelings because, again, that's what the anger builds up at. You have to communicate. Even and before you communicate, listen to me closely, y'all. <laughs> Please think about it before you let it fall out your mouth. No, you can right. punch somebody in the face and you can get them a black eye. That black eye is going to heal. But when you say what you say out of your mouth, they are called emotional scars. Mm hmm those are hard to heal. Those stick with you longer than a black eye or a scrape on your knee sticks with you. Oh, yes, it does. So you have to really keep that in mind when you go back to talking to somebody about how you feel. Just don't be negligent with somebody else's feelings as well. Yours yours matter. Yours are important. But theirs is theirs too. So... When you get ready to come to them, just make sure that you put your words in the right position because you do not want to put anger on top of anger from the things that you're going to say. Now, Grant, during the conversation, you're not always going to like what you're hearing. You're not always going to like what that person has to say about how they feel. But just remember, you're human. So that means us as humans... We tend to do things to hurt each other that we're unknowingly not knowledgeable of. Hurt people's hurt people. Hurt people's hurt people. But sometimes you don't even have to be hurt to hurt somebody. Yeah. You just accidentally hurt somebody and you're just not aware of it. But when you bring it back to that person, pull them to the side. It don't have to be a, a, a conversation in front of everybody. Make sure the setting is right. Make sure you do it at the right time. Please don't blurt it out. Please don't keep holding it to where you you let it out the wrong way. Because that can happen too. Yeah, my father used to always say, uh, never look down on a man unless you picking him up off the ground. Absolutely. You know, and I, I understand that real well, you know. It's not good to look down on people's no way. Like I say, you got to try to uh, reorganize and rearrange your mind uh, to live in this world because uh, a lot of these young people uh, don't know how to survive in this world. A lot of them running around, don't even know how to cook. You know what I mean? And uh, while they run around looking for black eyed peas in a can, I'm looking for black eyed peas in a bag. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, man, I mean, boy, this little girl said one day, she said, oh, my granddaddy died. He used to cook like that. I said, you didn't learn how to cook while I was even living, baby? She said, no. I said, baby, I feel for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, hey, eating out all the time ain't always healthy ain't always good. no it's not healthy you know they'll tell you what they serve and they serve it's not this. healthy because they... eating out all the time is nothing but processed food and yeah. processed food doesn't do the body no good yeah 
just don't break down it causes sets on the body you know uh-huh. it, it restore fat more you know it causes all kind of health issues they call it gmos generic modified organisms you know uh, a lot of stuff is gmo you know and you can just about tell because they did a thing in switzerland uh, on GMOs and uh, what they found out that it was that GMOs put knots in your body. If you got knots in your body, nine times out of ten, you done ate some GMOs, generic modified organisms, because they put knots in the rat's body, the mice that they was experiment on. If GMOs, it caused knots in the body. Oh, that's some serious stuff, baby some very serious stuff, you know, so we have to be careful. We have to learn to communicate, stop walking around here with our face all bent out of shape. Like that's going to fix something. It's not going to fix anything. It'll break you down. Don't have a a conversation. It's not going to fix nothing if you don't have a conversation. Yeah, you got to speak what's on your mind. <clears throat> yeah. You got to talk to somebody that you can get it off you. Even if you got to write it. Write it down. Even if you need to write a letter. Me and my mom used to, we used to clash, but when we clash, we used to write letters to each other. Hmm. Wow. We used to write letters to each other so we can get a better understanding. So we know when you, what are you doing when you, when you're reading a letter? You can't even talk back because you're reading Hmm. Wow. It's so many ways to get through communication. And please don't think that text messages is one of them because those can definitely be misunderstood as well. Oh, yeah. Especially. No, another thing that you are not going to be able to heal everything in everybody. Oh, yeah. As long as you're working on you, everything else will fall in line. But as far as your relationships and your family, you're not going to be able to save all your relationships. Some of them relationships are toxic, and some of them you have to let go and walk away from. You can love them from a distance. You don't have to be ugly and nasty towards them. You can love them exactly for who they are, but you do not have to have them involved in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. You know, that don't mean go to a family function and and get together a hate group for Keisha, because y'all couldn't stand Keisha for years and Keisha's still on whatever mm-hmm. Keisha on because she not on with y'all. On. That's yeah. that's petty. I think that I think when uh people's uh demonstrate that, I believe that they either when they demonstrate that hate towards you, I believe that <clears throat> they jealous, they want to do what you can do and they don't have the courage to do it you know you got some people that don't know how to don't have the courage to speak up you know no. and and it's a lot of it's a lot oh it's, oh she always saying this and that to mama you know what i mean but you can't speak up and and, and talk to mama too at least mama know what's on her mind <laughs> right you know what I mean? Because she's blurting it out all the time. Right. It ain't what you say, it's how you say it. You know? Exactly. It's all about your deliverance, and that's the most important part of getting things off your chest. That's why I said before you do it, please work on your deliverance before you get what you need to get off your chest. Fix it up in the head, baby. Because <laughs> everybody it. make mistakes. See everybody it. do. I do. Yeah. He do. Yeah. Everybody make mistakes. Ain't none of us perfect on this earth. But everybody should have a clear understanding of where everybody's standing. And sometimes, again, you not you may not even get that understanding from everybody. All the questions that you may have, don't worry about why. Don't worry about why the next person don't like you and your family. That's not your business. That's not your problem. That has nothing to do with you. That has everything to do with them on the inside. Something that they fight with something that they dealing with and the only way it's gonna be solved is when they break. Yeah, because uh you can't you can't I mean, you know, you got people that got these attitudes and uh like I say, there's so much you can do. 
you know, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, like I say, it's very important to try to get an understanding, you know, yeah, it is. with anybody, you know, it's important to try. The word said, love your neighbor as you will love yourself. If you love yourself, trust me, you will have no problem with loving another person. If you got respect for yourself, you have no problem with respecting someone else. Correct. Because you don't want it to. That's why in China, they don't send their kids to school and because they do all the uh, the schooling at home, uh, the disciplining at home. They do it all at home. And when a child go out and they act a fool, that makes the parents look bad. Right. That's what it do, especially when they go all in the grocery store, want a clown all on the floor. And one thing I really hate to see is a young woman with a child that she all up in this man's face. And this right. boy just doing what he want to do, running around, almost knock a whole fish tank down, all that type of stuff. And she don't say nothing because she's so enthused and caught up on this man that she's talking to. But a kid is out of control. What kind of what kind of mess is that? The mess you got to look at and just pray for. Yeah, that's the only thing you can do because uh, I done seen that a lot of times, you know, and uh, that's not good, you know. That's not that's not good, you know. So uh, got to learn to communicate. You know, it's just like you get somebody a plate. Either they're going to say it's either they're going to say it's good, either they say it's not. But we got some people that won't say nothing. Good or bad. Just won't yeah. say nothing. And that's not good because now I, I I don't know if I got a problem with what I'm cooking. You ain't told me so I can fix it. All right. You know, you got people that are set up there. And when you hang around folks that's fake. Ooh, I'm allergic to fake folks. Ooh. God, Lee, I break out when they come around me all the time. I'm not gonna play with you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I break <laughs> out, house. baby. I break out. You uh, do not be breaking out. Would you just cut that out? <laughs> these fake people's knots and everything be coming upside my head. <laughs> I'm telling oh you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm allergic to them. I start itching like I got paws in the ivory. Okay, so you <laughs> acting like, um, oh boy, I feel. Uh, that movie all about the Benjamins. Why he talking about some baby? I'm allergic to the judicial system. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I ain't never went to court. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I know that's right. You don't want to see that man sitting up there holding that gaffle. I mean, when I got ready to go to prison, you know, I told the judge, I asked the judge, can I waive my uh, fee? You know, because they, they give you a, a fee. I forgot. Right. I forgot what they call it, but they give you a fee. And I said, can I wait a wave? And he said, no, good luck. <laughs> like that. And I was like, wow. At least, yeah. he, at least he did wish me good luck. <laughs> mm. I don't know if he meant that in a good way or a bad way. Who knows? I know one thing. When I went up out of it, I was in handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, buddy. 19 years of the mess. <laughs> Only thing I can hear was my daughter being born. She looked just like you. Man, and it really started coming to me when I'm on my way out. You know, brother telling me, send me a picture. The only thing I really had to hold on to was a picture. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I didn't, even, I didn't even know you existed. That's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. You was holding on to a picture. I had no idea that you existed. I didn't know who you was. I didn't even know. I had somebody else for a father. I was always told somebody else was my father. So, hmm. yeah, that's, that's wow. Didn't find out until we went and took that test, got the mouth swabbed and everything. That's how yeah. we found out. 
we we found out what time it was. You know, yeah. paid for I think it was about what five or six hundred dollars at the time. No, it was six hundred. Yeah. Like five ninety eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Paid it even. was needed. It was definitely needed. It, it it shut everything down. That's what it did do. It shut the small talk down. Mm-hmm. It definitely shut that part down. Yeah. Yeah, you know. You know, uh, but going through family, I realize you're not going to make everybody happy. Oh, no. Everybody not going to be happy with you. They're not going to be happy for you. Because they don't know, know you. Even when you become successful. Yeah, they don't know you. You know, and, and, and you know, and when, 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 when these human beings don't know each other, they like dogs. They growl. Yeah. Only dogs do that. Not humans supposed to do that. Get to know me. Try to get to know me. You know, some people won't even try to get to know their father. I've heard some people saying, F him. He wasn't there yeah, for me. He, been, he wasn't there, so forget about him. But at the end of the day, he's human too. He still deserves a chance, y'all. So don't forget that. You know, even though he might have been gone on drugs, doing whatever he was doing, but at the end of the day, he's still human and he still deserves a chance. So. Don't let everybody just, you know, brainwash y'all with different thoughts and things because in that case, I could have did the same thing with my father, but I still stepped outside of that and tried to get to know him, even though people were saying things about him. Right. So you have to take things into your own consideration. You know, you got to be careful with that because, again, you do not want your generation up under you sleeping with the other generation because they have a lack of knowledge from a misunderstanding yep. due to a lack of communication. Yep. Ain't nobody <laughs> communicating. Nobody don't congregate, get get to see who is who. You know, those family reunions, they important. Even though you saying you ain't going because Lil Richie done made you mad, forget <laughs> Lil Richie. It's about 50 other people there that need to see you and that's, that want to know you. That's people right. dying every day, y'all. Yep. Every day, you never know when they somebody that lost their life. Yep, you never know when your time is coming. You don't. Y'all never know when the clock is up on none of us because tomorrow is not promised. Sure it's not promised. So, and it don't matter how old you are, death does not have an age on it. So don't. And it's your time, baby. It's your time. Ain't no system to my so I gotta go check on my kids. And if you wanna know. If it's worth mending, here's the thing. Ask yourself this question, because this is what I had to ask myself when it came to me mending things with my mom. I had to I had a real life conversation with myself. And I heard God say, if your mom died today, could you actually put her down in the ground and be great? Feel good Mm. as if you got your closure. And that don't just go for my mama. That go for any family member that I think about closing off on a relationship with. Mm-hmm. If you feel that you've done everything that you were supposed to do, please do not stress yourself out because the whys that you already have, they may not never get answered. Mm-hmm. And don't take that part personal. It is what it is. Some people are how they are. All you can do is accept them for who they are. Love them from a distance. Move on with no malice, no anger in your heart. Yes, they may still be on some bullcrap with some of the stuff they do, but but you do not have to indulge. You do not have no control over the things they do, but you do have control over what you do. Yeah, you got to unplug, you know, and then you got to watch out for the peoples that have favor for other people. And then when their mother or somebody that they have favor for, they go to God and they ask God, please God, don't take them. And then the next thing you know, he pulled their number. So the person get mad and this where he come in and say, or she say, I don't believe in God no more. He took my mama. No, baby, did you understand the word? The word said that everybody got a time. Ain't nobody gonna stay here. Everybody got time to go. Uh-huh. So you might well dress your mind up and fix it up and accept 
was coming because I had to accept it when I was in prison, when my daddy died, when my brother died. The first year I was in prison, my brother died. Shot himself. Heard. Yeah, committed shot. Suicide. Committed suicide, right? Yeah, he committed suicide. He died because he shot the girl, shot her, the man she was messing with. And then after he did that, he shot himself. Took himself out because he didn't want to go through prison life. You know what I mean? Oh. But it's just the ideal, you know, that, you know, man, I could have been nuts. A long time ago, but God was with me. Oh yeah, he God was with me you. when my daddy got taken. You know what I'm saying? That was another strike when my daddy got taken. I lost yeah. two family members when I was in prison. Didn't see no pictures yeah. of them. Was lied, said that picture was sent to me on the way. You know, then I guess it wasn't meant for me to see my daddy in no coffin. You know, but my daddy come up there and visit me, and then after that, that was it. So, you know, I had to really hold strong and hold on because, you know, some turbulence there, all the news on TV, and he, oh man, your brother just dead. They police killed your brother. You know, all, I mean, I couldn't cry. I had been reading the word of God. I had accepted. I had been reading many different religions. I had already accepted the fact while in prison. Anything happen, got to be able to accept and be strong and go on. Cause if you don't, Lord knows you'll lose your mind. Yeah, nineteen years in prison, that's two decades. I'm fighting to get out, fighting to get out of prison. But at the meantime, I done dug a hole for myself. What caused me to stay that long? Already in the hole, and then here it is. You know what I mean? Already in prison. Now I'm in a hole for stabbing a man. Now here I am, I got to see the parole board while I'm in the hole for stabbing a man. I'm already in there for shooting a man. Stabbing him? You think they better give me parole? Man, I got up and told that man, ain't no sense, ain't no thing about me. Ain't no sense of me up in here wasting your time. You know, cause y'all ain't gonna give me no parole. And when I put my hand on that knob, that door knob, that man, I never get him. Cranston Mitchell told me, he said, you'll never make parole as long as I'm over the head of the parole board. And I ain't never forgot that. Oh. He, oh, yeah, baby. He stood on that, baby. He stood on that. Oh, yeah. When they gave me an out date, it was two years. It was two years uh, out date. They were hoping that I mess up because this is how they make their money. They make their money off you per head. Absolutely. You know, at the time of thirty six thousand, but now it's forty six thousand. So they make their money. So everybody that think they didn't, everybody that think they didn't, they didn't. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Lincoln freed the slaves. Oh, that's why they put him on a penny. Man, look, they didn't. He didn't free the slaves. Only thing he did was just turn the power over to the prison systems. Prison system is modern day slavery. Back in the 80s, people was running around, uh, uh, moving in. They, these industrials moving in prison systems. You ain't got to worry about cheap labor. It's right in your backyard. You ain't got to talk about going over in Mexico, get it. It's right in your backyard. It's right in your backyard. You go down there and work and slave, make license plates. I done made license plates, you know. I didn't cut the stickers. 80 some cents an hour. I ain't no money, but them guys in there, it's money to them because a lot of them ain't even got nothing. Thank you for the thumbs up too. And, and uh, I'm glad to see you a part of this. But you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. What I had to go through in 19 years, I can write up. Do you think I wrote this? I wrote this first book right here. This is the first book that I wrote from a jail cell. I had 30 years, I had a 20, and I had a 30. The judge ran the 20 into the 30, and I was doing 30 for the first degree, I was doing 30 for the armed criminal act, and I was doing 
the 20 day the 20 was for the, the assault that they ran off into the armed command and the way the laws is twisted the law said uh, i fought armed criminal act for years and the law said you cannot be eligible for parole until you get the first three years that's mandatory in. Second time, you got to pull five years before you see the parole board. Well, I thought they was talking about that I get out after three years. And I'm arguing with the lawyers about this. And the lawyers tell me, said, no, you better read that. This what is misunderstanding communication come in at. Leaning to my own understanding came in at. Man broke it down to me and said, you, that means that when you get the three flat calendars in, then you're allowed to see the parole board. That's what that law means. Not you do the three flat years and then you get out. Oh, oh yeah, baby. That's that catch 21 that they put on you. You know, communication. yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to read that stuff. You got to read it for how it's written. You got to look for the punctuations and all that stuff on how this stuff is worded. And when you're going up in the courts, the courts is a, a rewording. It's all about it's all about a word game. Word semantic game. That's all it's about. If you don't know their language and their word semantic, just like being on the job working in a, 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 a steel mill. You know, if you don't know uh, the language, how to communicate with your hands and all that stuff, you know, you ain't got no communications. Oh, yeah, yeah. baby. You ain't got no communication, you know, so. And and you know what? Another thing I might, you know what? When I was mending things with my mom, I kept making her apologize for the same thing over and over again. And so one day she said, Tanisha, I'm not going to keep apologizing <laughs> to you about this stuff. We did not really talk about this. I don't understand why we back revisiting this situation. Mm -hmm. But I was so blinded by the anger. Yeah, that's what I, that I did. I didn't realize that I was making her apologize for the things that she done. Even when she came out and apologized to me about the misunderstanding with my father. I accused her of so many things over and over and over that she had already accepted and said, I did this. She took ownership for it. So be careful with that too, y'all. Don't just sit up and just listen to, uh, don't have, please don't have selective hearing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of people got selective hearing now. You hear what you want, but yeah. make sure you are actually listening. Right. Not just hearing. Not just him, you know, listening say, because <laughs> the same thing, and, and it's so crazy because all of my girls, I'm going through the same thing with them, mm. and it's just different stages. Oh, yeah, you dealing with three different, different stages of what I went through with my own mother, mm. and I'm going through the same thing. I apologized to my daughter so many times, she's still mad, she's still angry over the same stuff that I thought that we had swept under the rug and got through and talked about. Oh, they hold on so, to it. Now that I see that that, that <laughs> I see it mm -hmm. for what it is, I'm able to take it in mm -hmm. and just put my just put my prayers around her. I know she's gonna come back to me. That's I don't right. have a thing about that thinking thing anything different that she's not. I know she is. Oh yeah, because she's my baby. I had her. Yeah. I'm I'm the beginning and the end. I'm almost like God, baby. I'm the I'm the Omega. <laughs> Yeah, I'm because the beginning she came and from I'm the ending. It's always gonna come back to me. So for y'all out there who who children is trapped up in the system, don't worry about it. Just know that at the end of the day, them them babies are gonna come back to you. Mine's was stuck in the system for ten years. Mm. And right now, my children all had their own relationship with me. Yes, they've been told a whole bunch of lies. And all this whole situation happened with me and them over a misunderstanding, yeah. a lack of communication. Yep. So just keep that in mind, y'all. Don't don't let nothing beat y'all down. Don't let nothing make y'all feel like y'all less of a parent because because this happened. Because I'm going to tell you something. I don't feel less of a parent. God has already written my story before I even knew what my story was going to be. Well, he said I designed. Well, he said I knew you before I created the 
I knew you before I created the foundation, before I laid the foundation of the earth, of the world. So, you know what I mean? He know what he made. He said he, he know how many hairs that's on your head. He can count the hairs on your head when you came. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so quit taking everything so personal, thinking, oh, this happening to me. God must hate me. He doesn't hate you. That's right. But he gave his strongest battles to his strongest soldiers. Oh. So if you're going through it, and please take yourself out of the equation, because it took me a long time to learn that you ain't. it, it ain't about you all the time. Yeah. It's bigger than you. He ain't going to put no more on you than you can bear. It's bigger than you. You might be going through this just to walk down the aisle and help somebody else get through the same thing. Never know. You can't be ignorant to it. You know, like I said, you got to hear the spirit when it talks. You got to hear yeah. whispers in your ear, you know, and, yeah. and you got, you got to get still. When I get a problem, I have to, I have to get still and try. You got to be quiet so you can hear him talk back. Yeah, got to figure it out. Got uh -huh. to figure it out. So, you know, I got to have my antennas up and hear what he's saying. You know what I mean? Because uh, Joe and ain't going to, Joe and ain't going to do nothing but make it worse if you go to them. Anybody you go to try to talk to about it, some people to make it worse, make you feel bad than for you went to them. You was already feeling bad, now you feel even bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Yeah, but that's why you gotta re you gotta keep going and don't let nothing harden your heart. Remain open because when you close your heart, you shut your blessings down. Yep, and that's not something that you want. You do not want to shut your blessings down. That's Don't right. never let a person make you so mad where they where you get them so much power where they allow to have so much control over blocking your blessings. Mm -hmm. Don't, Don't ever let nobody have that kind of power over you. Yeah. My family had that kind of power. My on my mom's side, they had that kind of power over me for a long, a very long time. Hmm. I'm so happy to be free of that power now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I even have some of them that tell me right now today that they don't like me. And that's okay. Everybody's not going to like you. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not going to love you. Everybody's not going to accept you. And everybody is never, <laughs> never going to, everybody is not never going to root for you. And, and, they, and, and when you get successful, a lot of folks is not going to be happy for you. So get that in your mind. They're not going to And gonna don't take it personal. Yeah, they're not going to be happy for you. So... They ain't doing nothing but looking for ways to get up on you and, and get what they want, you know. So I learned that just from uh, writing a book. Folks thought I had money, you know, just because I got a book out, you know, and try to actually scam me. Actually hmm. try to scam me out of money. And then the coldest yeah. thing about it, it wasn't nothing but a $1,000 that I had wrote, uh, got a money on and gave it to him. If I hadn't gave him that money order, I'd have been beat. Yeah. You know, so, but, you know, like I say, we got to learn to communicate and learn to try to live with like one that. another, you know, because we you're not the only one on the face of this earth. You got That's people that. pull up, you know, in public places and park there like they the only somebody blocking traffic, all that type of stuff because they think they the only somebody because they carry a selfish spirit. Got to get rid of all of that. It's more than you in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's more than you in the world. You know, so people don't know how to deal with it, don't know how to cope with what they're doing and what they do. You know what I'm saying? They don't think about it. You got to start using your head. This head is not a hat rack, you know. You got to start using your head. You know, but uh, we're getting ready to shut this down. So you want to give a uh, uh, last words, uh, baby? Yes. Thank you guys for tuning in. We really appreciate y'all again. We know that we don't have all the answers, but we're doing the best that we can to show y'all what healing looks like. That's right. Okay, and although we not perfect, we yeah. still learning each other. Me and him is still learning each other, believe it or not. We still learning each other. That's right. So just, you know, the relationships that you, that's, that is worth saving in your family, then save them. But the ones that's not, 
Don't don't let that drag you down. It's okay. Keep it moving. Just take it for what it is and just keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, one thing you have to remember is not your loss. It's actually theirs because they missing out on a great person. So right. thank y'all for tuning in. Come see us next Tuesday because we're going to keep this thing going. And oh, yeah, we also will be doing Dinner oh. Over Podcast in person. Oh, yeah. Because really. I will be in town so I can come see my good old daddy. We're going to do a brunch. <laughs> We're going to do us a brunch, baby. We're going to mix it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can't wait to do that. So that week, y'all are probably going to get two shows in one week. Show sure is, because we're going to be, we gonna be, it's going to be some finger licking good food we're going to put together, baby. My baby can yes, cook. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, because your baby got a, already got her own business. Peas Tastings. That's right. <laughs> it's in effect. I do smoked crab legs, smoked seafood, mm. soul food, pieces. I do all kind of stuff. Fried rice, mm. Chinese rice, Chinese mm. food, general soul chicken. I do it all, y'all, so... Thank right. y'all for tuning in. Like we said again, come see us next Tuesday, and we'll also have a special edition next week. We'll let y'all know Tuesday what day that's going to be on. Thank you. Peace. For tuning in.